An audio-video receiver is a central hub in a home theater system. It gathers and processes sounds from your household's audio and video sources, such as your TV, DVD player, cable box, and Blu-ray player. It then distributes the sounds through speakers throughout your home, so you can listen to music and watch movies in one room while your family watches a movie in another. In this video, we'll explore what an AV receiver is, why it's so important, and what to look for when buying a receiver. To find out more information and updated price of the products we have mentioned, be sure to check the links in the description below. Like this video, comment below, and don't forget to subscribe for future updates. Without further delay, let's get started with the list. At number 5 on our list is the Denon AVR-X6700A. The Denon AVR-X6700H is our pick for the best 8K Ultra HD AV receiver, and it's easy to see why. Denon's flagship receiver provides the best combination of power, features, and usability. It has Dolby Vision, Dolby Atmos, and DTS Virtual X decoding, so it's ready for the next generation of immersive sound formats. It has 11.2 channels of power, 8 HDMI inputs, and supports 4K videos up to 60 frames per second, as well as 4K video up to 120 frames per second for 4K video pass-through. Unlike most 8K receivers we've tested, the AVR-X6700H also has a built-in HEOS wireless multi-room audio platform. The system allows you to create multi-room wireless audio zones that play music in up to 13 rooms. The AVR-X6700H also has built-in support for Amazon Alexa voice control. Denon's on-screen setup assistant is among the best we've seen, and Odyssey's room acoustic calibration system is one of the best we've tested. The AVR-X6700H has more inputs than our other top pick the Yamaha RXA 8700. However, it also has fewer HDMI inputs and lacks 4K video pass-through. A 4K60 signal will be converted to 4K60 for output, which won't eliminate the delay, but will limit the delay to much less than one second. Up next in fourth place is the Denon AVR-X3700H. If you're looking for a high-performance AV receiver, the Denon AVR-X3700H is the best 8K model on the market. It's designed for high-quality video and sound, making it a perfect choice for Blu-ray and 4K Ultra HD Blu-ray players, as well as game consoles like the PlayStation 4 Pro or Xbox One X. It's packed with enough connections to connect virtually anything, from Blu-ray players to streaming services like Netflix, Amazon Video and Hulu, to cable and satellite boxes and media streamers, to turntables with phono inputs, to surround sound speakers and subwoofers. Denon includes an Ethernet port and 4K 16-bit pass-through, HDR10, Dolby Vision, and HDR10 Plus pass-through support. It can also stream music from online music services like Spotify, Pandora, and iTunes, and your own iTunes library although you'll need to pair an Alexa-enabled speaker to the AVR to make the most of it. This is a stylish, powerful bit of kit. The downside, it's very expensive, almost twice as expensive as our former top pick, which is missing many of the features in the AVR-X3700H, including 8K compatibilities. At number 3 we have Yamaha RX-V6A. The Yamaha RX-V6 has several new features that improve on its already excellent predecessor, the RX-V5. This model is more affordable and designed around Musicast, Yamaha's wireless multi-room audio technology. Musicast speakers use Wi-Fi to send audio to multiple Yamaha speakers wirelessly, and you can use Musicast as a bridge to send audio to non-Yamaha speakers. We tested the RX-V6 with a Musicast wireless network speaker and a Musicast 22.2 CH AV receiver and a Musicast 50.1 CH AV receiver. The receiver has Wi-Fi, so you can send audio to speakers just as you would your smartphone. The receiver can also stream audio from your smartphone, tablet, or laptop over Bluetooth, and it supports AirPlay 2, Chromecast, and Spotify Connect. 
The RX V6 offers more available input channels and it provides more features for making the most of the channels you do have. Yamaha's Clarity Enhancer and TXX Select 2 Plus are both good options for casual listening. But if you'd instead stream your high-resolution music files, the RX V6 also supports Dolby Vision and Hybrid Log Gamma. Although its support for Dolby Atmos and DTSS is more limited than the RX V5 models, the RX V6 build quality and features are noticeably better. Separation from the rear speakers is cleaner and the sound more natural, and rival models can't match Yamaha's overall sound quality. At number 2 on our list is the Sonos Ampere. This is the Ampere we have been waiting for. The Ampere is sleek and modern, with an attractive finish that doubles as a helpful grip when you're managing heavy speaker cables. It puts out 100 watts per channel, and while that's enough to push most systems to their full potential, it's not powerful enough to overwhelm most spaces. Soundbars are generally a better choice for home theater owners. But Ampere is more than an amplifier. It acts as a smart hub you can connect to your TV, turntable, stereo, CD player, turntable, and Sonos wireless speakers. It can power all sorts of speakers, including satellite speakers, and it can also power external speakers, including outdoor speakers. The Ampere can also act as your Sonos hub for connecting additional Sonos speakers. The Ampere features Bluetooth and AirPlay connectivity, which means you can connect speakers wirelessly. The Bluetooth connection is good. We had fewer connectivity problems with it than with some of our other picks, but we had more issues with AirPlay connections than with different setups. For the most part, AirPlay connections work fine, but Ampere can connect directly to a Wi-Fi network, so you can skip Bluetooth if you're streaming content. And finally, the number one on our list is the Denon AVR-S540BT. The Denon AVR-S540BT offers many features for the price, and it's significantly more potent than the most affordable models we tested. It has dedicated HDMI inputs, four 2.1-channel speaker outputs, and a big easy-to-read color screen, and it comes loaded with both Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. It also has the best sound quality of any receiver we tested. Its user interface is simple and sleek, and we loved how it advanced us when we pressed the center button on the remote. A few drawbacks. There are some quirks and annoying limitations with the on-screen touch interface, and we couldn't find a way to use the HDMI inputs to play TiVo content. Also, the Bluetooth streaming and multi-room volume and playlist management features were a bit buggy. There's also a built-in Wi-Fi antenna, but we couldn't get it to work. From its 5.2-channel design to Denon's legendary performance, this receiver does everything a solid home theater system should. It delivers pleasingly robust sound, whether it's playing a movie or a live concert, and its compact form factor makes it an excellent choice for tight quarters, especially if you live in an apartment. It is an excellent choice for a home theater or anyone looking for an affordable, capable AV receiver. You will find all the links of these products in the description below. Thanks for watching this video, don't forget to hit the like button and share with your friends. And if you are new to the channel, then subscribe and hit the bell icon for future updates.